This has been one of the craziest weeks for Yu-Gi-Oh, but don't worry, we're going to have at least five days of Market Watch content. So let's pass it over to Market Watch, shall we? Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button and ask for every Market Watch. No, I know we didn't do Market Watch yesterday, but the Rady Collection discussion was much more important. If you leave a comment down below, tell me how you think the market's going, how you think Phantom Nightmare is shaping up. I will pick one of you and you'll be walking away with a booster pack. So please do check that out, pay attention for that, and I hope you guys have been enjoying so much content. Gamer's Choice has Rarity Collection up at $13.99 a case. I know that's uh, a little bit more than some people want to spend, but you can get boxes for $125, which I think is realistically probably where you're looking at things to settle. If you use discount code MCOL40 over here, that's right. We have a discount code. It'll save on your purchase. Also, later in the week, you're going to have Kong Scars that are going to have all the pre-sales up and running that you're going to want for Phantom Nightmare. I know, it's like we just came off a maze and everything, and we're seeing this crazy insanity happening back here on the back. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's crazy to see how fast our turnover is right now. Now, something uh, I want to point out here. The two-player starter sets are actually up on TCG Player. I was, I was kind of curious to know, you know, what we'd be seeing for these. There's a lot more of these up than I initially thought that there were going to be right now. Uh, you're looking at $164 per 10 of them, which is a lot better than personally buying them individually because they want like $19.19 a piece. But to be fair, I don't think anybody really needs, you know, 10 of these things. So basically what you're looking at here is if you are looking for a cheaper, cheaper Zeus, um, they're up for $14, which you got to think about this. Like, typically, you're only going to be buying this product for one of two reasons. One, to teach players how to play the game or to want to get a Zeus. All right. Cool thing is now if you need a Zeus for an event or for locals, you can technically go out to Walmart for X amount of time and you can just buy a Zeus for $20. I like that idea. It was kind of cool that we had that available back in the day when you could just go out to Walmart and buy three Ash Blossom and Joy Spring and you could play the game. I mean, you technically still do that, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, do keep in mind that there is nothing else available from the two-player starter set. It's literally just everybody was like, all right, we'll put up the, the cases, we'll put up, you know, the individuals, and then the Zeus's, and that's it. And by the way, Zeus does have sales data. Um, people have been spending the thirteen sixty nine, Not a lot, but it looks like they're all from the same seller anyway. So kind of do with that info what you will. Now let's get into the interesting things today. So for those of you that have lived underneath a rock for the last couple of days, like I have, um, Ground Zeno got blown off of the market. Like this thing got cratered off. A um, couple reasons. One, dinosaurs just got Kaito Patara. Um, you got Hornsaurus, which now suddenly means that you can kind of turbo through a little bit more of your deck and do some of these little crazy things. Also, keep in mind that Ground Zeno also does give you the ability to banish it into a fusion summon. A lot of people just look at this card as a search and then a pop for a baby, which is, I mean, th your core functionality of it. But keep in mind, I, as of what was it, uh, two days ago? These were so bought out that they were at like a hundred a piece. So we are watching this thing do its rescission down here, which it should be. Like this card should not be at the crazy price point that you're seeing it. You've repopulated back up to 22 listings. But, I mean, take a moment to look at your sales data here. I mean, you had 60, 60. Um, none of the hundred sold, thankfully. But like, look at your turnover just in the last like two days. Like, this is kind of crazy to look at. You obviously had less on eleven twenty three, but I I'm fairly impressed with the the Dino Bros out here just wanting the chance to play Dinos. Like, I'm gonna clap for it. Like, this is this is just impressive to see the turnover here now. Of course, there were other dinosaurs that were caught up in the collateral damage of the Dino Bros wanting to, uh, you know, get better at the game. You're looking at 76, 75, and 72, and this is even crazier because once these, once you're 71 and your 76 are gone here, you're at $88 for just any sort of 90, 95, 126. You know. 
everybody had a equal opportunity, I guess, to pick up this dinosaur stuff. But when you're looking at this, it's not like, I don't know, I, I didn't think I'd want to go out and pick up dinosaur stuff anytime soon. Also, we don't know how this deck's going to hold up post-meta. You know, Poppy's coming here, like, very, very quickly. You're going to be stuck in a 10-week gridlock of the meta as nothing changes. So we'll have to wait and see. Ultimate Conductor. Do, 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 do. Ultimate Conductor, <laughs> this guy didn't, like, he got caught up in the crosshairs just a little bit, but, like, his sales dad is nowhere near, like, is crazy. Like, your last one was on 11.22 and then 11.18 and 11.12. But, I mean, this poor guy is still at 57 dollars $52. Like, there's no movements on Ultimate Conductor, friend. Like, poor guy. We got left behind. Um, the rest of Wild Survivor's back here. Hey, look. Rosin's still 72s. Uh, your boy goes still 55. I feel like that's normal, even though Ultimate Conductor only has 11 listings, but sure. Stake Your Souls, 44s. You can get boxes of the set still for $49. Uh, we're finally watching Hungry Burger do the descent down into madness from, what was it, its $50 price point. 26 listings down to 42, that's good. Mad Love, 40. All right, Vanquish Soul, Kaiser Varius, 38. Still can't believe Ground Zeno is actually as much as it is. That That's so crazy. Look at TC Boos. $23. Thank you, ban list. You know, if you ever want to just pick up a Max Rarity fl uh, Floodgate, I mean, now it's not looking like the worst time to do so. You know what I mean? Tanky's coming in at 20s. Ooh, Zeno. Ooh, I missed one. Zeno Meteoris. Wow. 60, 40, 29. 29, 38, 39, 30, up to 40. Yeah, this uh, there wasn't a lot of damage to do to this thing, but 50, 52, 53, 60. Ugh. This thing, that thing got cratered off. Your Novelist, still at $20. Fossil Digs in 19. Ah, uh, Animador at Archazors. Still at about 24, actually. Still 16 listings of this guy. Um, I'm not all that surprised to see... This is actually holding relatively well. Good stuff. I'm very happy to still see that he's doing his thing, but Zeno, that's disgusting. The era of dinosaur out here. Uh, chef's recipe, 12 bucks. I guess if you want to play Novelez, it's not like the worst thing in the world. Wow, these bur uh, burgers are still $9. Sixes, uh, la, uh, the car tut, 650 Okay. Regular Xeno Meteoris Supers actually are getting created off to only 46 of these at dollars. Hmm, it's almost kind of worth it to go through bulk now. All right, well, your dinosaur hype train, what a day. <sighs> you know, voiceless voice is coming, um, and these things more than, like, doubled. I, I swear it was, like, literally last week we looked at these, and you do a blink today, and you're like, holy crap, $26? On up to like 28, mm-hmm. Some just sold for 30s, which is crazy to me. Yeah, you're basically looking at 30, 36, 40. Yeah, Diviner of the Herald is uh, is on a destructive path here. And you're looking at 25s right now for the regular core printings of these. Just take a moment to appreciate how stupid our market can be. You know, we knew the Voiceless Voice was going to be a deck for a while. And could have bought them when they were 15s. Sure. Herald of the Arc Light. Hey, look, another beautiful piece to the combo out here. 2016 19. You're looking at about $19 right now per copies of these. Um, also, hi, hi, pre prep. How are you? These things are still in 19, 19, 20. Yep, these are still cruise control. All right. I also want to point out back here that uh, the PCR for Herald. Um, you gotta love the fact people look at the alternatives out here. Dollars all across the board, but look at that rapid fire movement. People don't want to pick up the higher rarities. They just want these. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I just want to point out back here, um, the state of solemn strike for these, um, ultimate rares. Um, th this thing actually looks like it's having a little mini revolution down here. Uh, 102, 111. 111, those were your only real movements back here. You get a Portuguese heavy play for uh, 70 bucks, 86. But you're basically looking at 
what, 102? It's not terrible. So what do you guys think about today's market? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about today's market. And please do leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys think about everything today. So why don't you be walking away with a booster pack? You guys have a good rest of your day, all right? Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.